what a time to be alive, right? We're going through a pandemic, gas prices are on the rise, and people on Twitch are being follow botted left and right at a rampant pace. Now I know, being follow botted is not something new, it's been around for quite a while, and personally, I've been follow botted, and it's not a fun experience. And in recent weeks, I have friends who stream, and they've been follow botted, and one of them lost all of their followers and all of their following. And it's not fun. Now, I don't know why follow botting has been on an increase lately, but it is. And if you don't know how to handle that, or you handle it wrong, you can have some devastating consequences like losing all your followers or having your Twitch account deleted. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how to deal with a follow bot if it happens to you while you stream and what you can do to fix it. It's actually really easy, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. So hopefully I can help you out in this video. So if you like the video, leave a like down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button. It shows me that you guys like my videos and you want me to make more of them for you. I also stream live on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from noon to four central standard time. I do a lot of just chatting. So if you have any more questions that I didn't answer in this video, hop on by my stream and let's talk about it. But anyway, let's just jump into the video because I want to keep this as short and to the point as possible. So if you get follow botted while you're streaming live in front of your community, what do you do? Now, this is easier said than done, but just take it from me. When people follow bot you, first and foremost, they have to pay money to follow bot an account, at least from what I know. And so it's usually targeted. And what they usually want is attention. They want you to get flustered, mad, angry. They want that emotion from you. So my first tip is if it happens, don't react in a negative way. I get it. It's easier said than done. But trust me, that's what they want. They want you to get angry. They want you to get sad, flustered. That's what they want. So don't give them what they want. Try to stay calm and cool as much as possible. And then what your next step is, is go over to your stream lab, stream elements, whatever you use for your alerts, turn them off. Either turn them off within stream labs or stream elements, or just remove the source in your OBS so that your follow alert doesn't keep popping up in your stream. The reason why you want to turn it off is because depending on the size of the follow bot, for instance, with me, it was about a thousand people. My follow alert would have gone off a thousand times. So just turn off your alerts. That's your second course of action. And then third, keep streaming and pretend it didn't happen and just keep moving forward. What the person who targeted your account wants is to pretty much hijack your stream, ruin your day, get a reaction out of you and to ultimately turn off your stream and cancel your stream for the rest of the day. Don't give them what they want. When I show you guys how easy it is to get rid of all those bot accounts, you're going to think to yourself, wow, okay, yeah, there, that's not really a big deal because it's not. The only time a follow bot really is a big deal is if you don't take care of it. If you do that, Twitch can find out and flag your account and or delete your account. So you definitely want to take care of the issue. But if you're really worried about it and you really want to just turn off your stream and you just you're too flustered, I totally get it. Go ahead and do that and then just take care of the follow bot, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. So let's just jump on over my desktop. I want to show you guys how to get rid of those bot accounts super easily and super quick. All right, guys, so here we are on my desktop and I'm going to show you what website you have to go to and how easy it is to delete all of those follow bots. So in your search engine, just type in commander root Twitch follower remover. I'm also going to have the link in my description below. So you can just click on that and go straight to the website, but it should be your first link right here. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And this is what the page should look like. So all you have to do is click on login via Twitch, this blue banner right here. Go ahead and click on that and then it's going to ask you to authorize i've already authorized this website to take all my information so just click on the purple authorize button it's going to show you all the active follows that you currently have and then a list of all of them the times that they followed you and when the accounts were created now if you want you can go one by one and click on the red button right here and you have three options you can remove the follow and block user from refollowing you can just remove the follow or you can exclude the user from removal and when you get follow botted on Twitch, it's all at one time. So it should be like a giant block of bot accounts. And currently on my account, I don't have any bots or anything like that. All of these follows you see right here are my real followers that actually watch my channel. So I can't delete anything for you, but I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. So if you look up here where it says filter results, 
It's good to know what time the follow bot happens. So make sure you have a mod or a friend or just try to take note at what time the follow bot happened because the easiest way to get rid of the follow bots on this website is to know the time and the date and so that you can filter it and this website will only show you the bots pretty much and you don't delete any real follows because again guys you have to be careful when you do this if you do it wrong you can delete all of your followers or you can delete a follow that you didn't want to delete so all you're going to do is go to the filter results and then followed at between so this first box is going to be your start time so let's just say for today and you can select the time right here it goes by military time let's just say i got follow about it at noon and then let's just say the end time was one o'clock you can do that you can also filter it by the when the account was created but for follow bots i wouldn't mess with that mainly you want to focus on what time the follow bot actually happened and then all you have to do is click on the blue apply filters click on that first it's going to give you a list of all the accounts that followed you during that time period that you specified here in the filter results so I, as you can see today from noon to one o'clock i got all of these follows right here now again these are all real follows i'm not going to delete these so once you confirm that those are the bots that followed you in the follow bot all you have to do is click on this red remove all followers listed below button but once you do that it's going to ask you to confirm and then once you confirm commander roots going to do its thing it's going to be a blue bar it's going to show you all the accounts it's deleting so let's say you got follow bot with a thousand people it's going to start with a thousand and it's going to be deleting them and you're going to see it go down and down and down until it tells you all follows have been deleted now guys again the most important part of this is to filter your results and then click on the button that says remove all followers listed below so it would only do the ones that are listed below i've had friends who did something wrong and they deleted all of their followers so make sure you filter it by the time and the day that those bots happen to follow you and remove all followers listed below after you scan through them and confirm that those are the bots and that's how easy it is to get rid of those bot accounts it is an inconvenience for sure. And if it happens to you for the first time, it can be really scary and I get that. But just follow the steps that I showed you in this video and you'll take care of it in no time. Also a bonus, if you really want to, you can reach out to Twitch support about the bot issue. I can or cannot advise you on what to do there. What I did personally is I did not reach out to their support because I took care of it on my own. And I will say this, if you do reach out to them about the follow bot, there is a potential that everything on your account will be deleted. So take that information and do with it what you will, but I'm not going to tell you to not reach out to them, but I'm also not gonna tell you to reach out to them, if that makes sense. But guys, stay safe and I'll catch you at the next one.